All right, what's up guys? We are back again and I have done quite a few things uh, since our last vlog. Last time I talked to you, we were gearing up for Space Coast Marathon, so we are, we are through that. And then I said I was gonna be going to the running event in Austin, Texas. I am through that as well. And uh, I definitely missed some workouts and some runs along the way. All right, so last time we talked, I was about to go into my second week of training, which was three mile run, 30 minute tempo, three mile run, three mile pace, five mile run, and 11 mile run. So I did the first three runs of that week. And then things got a little crazy. So Thursday was Thanksgiving. So I was working in Turkey Trot. I think I had to be at the store at like 3.30 in the morning, 3.30 a.m. So it was definitely a, a busy day on Thanksgiving. Uh, we had about 2,000 people run that race, which was awesome. Friday, I woke up with like a sore throat. I think th it was like Thursday night, Friday morning, I woke up kind of with a sore throat. And so I was like, uh-oh, I better not be getting sick going into this weekend. That would not be good with Space Coast Marathon coming up. So that's exactly what happened. So I ended up getting a bit of a cold, uh, started a sore throat. Then it was all like head congestion, drainage, um, no fun whatsoever. So Friday Expo set up, Saturday working Expo. So that was all day once again. And then Sunday was the race day, um, super early morning. I think we met at the store at 2 a.m., 2.30 in the morning, um, packed up some last minute things and then headed out to the race site. So busy, busy, busy. I was supposed to do 11 miles that day. That just didn't happen. So it was like a 3 a.m. shift till 4 p.m. Um, so like, you know, 13 hours there. Um, race was great. I think we had uh, over 6,000 registered for the race and it, it turned everything went smoothly, uh, no real issues. Um, so always, always a great time. Two, two halves, north and south, and then a full, um, but long day, good grief. So Monday was then uh, back, try and put some stuff back away in the store. And then Tuesday I left for a TRE, the, the running event in Austin. and my first running event um was there as a retailer so tuesday morning was our travel day we had like a um, 9 45 flight so nothing too crazy um flew orlando to austin and after that um there was some like some discussions some um, seminars at the running event <clears throat> the convention center at the convention center for that day wednesday the first day of the trade show uh, at TRE and so all the vendors different brands um, you know shoe companies apparel companies um, accessories all all laid out on the floor so it was just everything um, I think right when I walked in uh, the main entrance there was like Asics to one side and New Balance to another got to see a lot of cool things coming out for New Balance in the upcoming future um, then I had a meeting with Skechers um, which is really cooler um, of course, you know, like one of my favorite shoes of last year was the Razor 3. Um, I did a lot of marathon miles when I was training for my first full in that shoe. I actually used it in my marathon. That's what I ran my marathon in. Um, it was before I had picked up any vapor flies actually, but I think it was a great shoe for that distance. Um, nice and lightweight, some good cushion to it. Saucony and Dorf lines can be really, really sick. You got three different models there. The Shift, the Speed, and the Pro. The Pro, of course, being the top line model uh, which I think they said was going to retail around 200. Um, so that's comparable to your Vaporfly um, next percent or, you know, Vaporfly 4%, whatever. Um, of course, you know, we've seen Jared Ward and Noah Drotti uh, running in that shoe multiple times uh, throughout the Parker Stenson as well, all, all throughout the year. Two other Saucony models, of course, a part of that at Dorfield line, I get to see uh, the shift. I get to try that on also. Um, pardon me, scratch that. The speed, I got to try on the speed, um, ran back and forth in it in the convention center there. Um, I did ask some of those guys to say, hey, uh, so what happens if I, I take off wearing this shoe? And they said they'd send Jared Ward after me, who was actually standing there in the booth uh, talking about the shoe as well, uh, along with Parker Stenson and Molly Huddle. So definitely a cool thing to, um, you know, just walk by and see these professionals that you don't see a whole lot. So uh, Wednesday night, I went for a fun run. I left uh, the convention and ran about a mile from my hotel to um, the Loop in Austin. Um, it's a running store down there. Uh, really cool um, layout to their store, and just I really liked like the look of their store. It was very 
um, hip, I would say. I don't really know the right word for it. Um, trendy, I guess. Um, so I did a fun run from there, like three miles, and then did a mile back to the hotel. So I got in like six that night. I think I did three the first day of TRE on that Tuesday, six the next night. Um, and the following day, I did three also, but it wasn't uh, anything too crazy. I ended up actually skipping the TRE 5K and ended up sleeping through it. Um, so that was unfortunate, but um, I'll definitely have to revisit that if I ever make it back. Just did three miles today. I'm getting back on my Hal Higdon plan after skipping a couple, kind of a, like a week and a half almost of it. Yeah, week and a half. I got some running in during that time, but definitely not on plan, so that sucks. Um, but what can you do? You know, just get back on back on the horse, right? You gotta get back up and try again. So thank you again for tuning into my channel. Um, appreciate you watching the video. If you haven't seen my videos before and you want to continue along, hit the subscribe button. Um, check out some of my other videos. Um, we do shoe reviews every once in a while. Um, this is mainly a marathon training vlog um, as I'm preparing for my second marathon. I'm trying to run a sub three hour marathon in March um, and this is my journey along to it. So also check me out on Instagram at johnmcarii and uh, let me know what you think. All right, have a great day. See you later.